Well, it is a delight to be here with you this afternoon. Um, and I, I bring you greetings from Primeville, Oregon, uh, home of Les Schwab. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, I, I grew up in eastern Oregon, and when Brian speaks of roughnecks, uh, that, that's, that's pretty accurate. Um, we have a, a very, very independent spirit among the people of our region. Uh, I grew up on a cattle ranch, so I also have an independent spirit, and it took the Lord, um, a, a, <laughs> it took a lot of grace to break me down, and he's still breaking me down uh, daily. Well, friends, today what I wanted to do is share with you um, some of the apostles' thoughts from the book of Philippians. I recently finished a sermon series through the book of Philippians, and one of the passages that stuck out to me in a, in a very profound way is the text that our dear brother just read for us. Uh, however, with the things that I'm going to share in my message, I think it's, it's very fitting if we back up and read a little bit more to set the context for us. I'd like to begin reading in verse 27 of the first chapter in Paul's letter to the Philippians. And as you're turning there, I'm, I'm going to ask the Lord for help. My gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to serve you and to serve my brothers and sisters by proclaiming your glorious and inerrant and perfect word. By, I pray that you would give me grace to exalt your only begotten Son, our most glorious and wonderful Savior, above all else. And I pray for the help of your Holy Spirit to help me to have energy to do this as I'm tired. 